the podcast. Mega Podlings. I'm Dave. And I'm Crazy Joe. Wacka Wacka Hoo. Wiggle Wiggle Woo. I draw pictures. You know, we've known each other over 20 years, and that's the best impressions we can do of each other. That's pretty pathetic. But that's not why we're here. We're no. not here for impressions. We're here for taking you back. Let's let's pull back the curtain. Get in the time machine and go back to the early to mid 80s. You get home from school. It's four o'clock. You turn on the TV. I'm sorry, I'm popping bubbles. What was the thing you heard at four o'clock on your TV? Bubbles. Bubbles. <laughs> Mr. Bubble. I'm Mr. Buckets. The balls come out of my mouth. I'm Mr. Buckets. No. Uh. G.I. Joe. The Transformers. <laughs> yeah. That's what you heard. That's what at least you heard of my house. This is the worlds of Hasbro and, in the 80s, Marvel Sunbow Animation. Mm, one yeah. of my favorite all-time cartoons. Which one? G.I. Joe. Ah. Transformers the... is good, but G.I. Joe, man, the writing on it was solid. Mm-hmm. It was so good. Yeah, uh, you know what's funny? In my mind, these two shows flip-flopped. Early on, G.I. Joe was my favorite, and Transformers was my second favorite. Well, I think Transformers got better later on. Yeah, the, the after and the movie. G.I. Joe, when, when Deke took over, was Well, I, I, I'm actually even talking before Deke took over. No, during, that last season's good. It's good, but I liked the... I, the Transformers went from being my second favorite to my favorite after the movie, because the Transformers got like so much more sci-fi based, where they were in space, and there were Sharkticons, and Junkions, and... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go bots. Starscream's ghost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. 1982. Thermos Corporation. It's not embossed. Not embossed. But it now, is, is bumpy because of age. This is the second G.I. Joe lunchbox. What? It is the second oh, G.I. Oh, Joe lunchbox oh. because there was one out before that. Are you talking about the, original, the original? Yeah. 12 inch G.I. Joe dolls. So, so basically, dolls. we should say this is G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Right. Because that was basically a, a, a new brand. Like G.I. Joe... They went down to three and three quarter right. inch. G.I. Joe was the 12 inch dolls and then they G.I. Joe, a real American hero with the subtitle was their answer to Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Three and three quarter. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it was... Divine? Divine. That's a good adjective. We like to mix up our adjectives. We don't want to say the same thing over again. That would be not divine. <laughs> So let's take a look at this one. Because this right. one, this was this was right when the show first came on, 1982. So this is like around right around the time that it debuted. So they, right. got, they got a lunchbox out pretty darn quick for this. Yes. Unlike Transformers. It's back Wanted when to. it was much more militaristic. It yes. got like more yes. fanciful. And this on the on. front, we have we have uh Stalker, uh Snake Eyes, Scarlet. Scarlet. I don't know if is that is Breaker? Uh, I'm not sure. It could be Grunt. It could be uh, it's got a beard. Might be Breaker. A lot of the early Joes looked very much alike. Yeah, and then there's, because then there's like two guys in the back too, where just look like kind of like generic jo Joes, right? Right. And this is like, and then on the top you also you have the them lifting the flag like uh, Iwo Jima style. Mm -hmm. And you also you have, uh, it's hard to tell who's on there, but you got Scarlet again, you got Stalker. Uh, I think that is Breaker. I think Breaker, yeah. I'm pretty. Yeah, I think you're. I think you're right. Maybe it's Beaker. And then you got. It could be Beaker. <laughs> and you got the uh, motorcycle. Oh, and then uh, Captain Jetpack. Captain Jetpack. <laughs> These are kind of like. It's hard to tell who even. Um, who was the Jetpack guy? Well, Stalker had a Jetpack. In later years, they came up with a guy named Starduster. Starduster, but yeah, that was, Starduster. That's not Starduster. You had to mail away from him. From the cereal. Yeah. From the G.I. Joe. Yeah, because I had Starduster. He was a jetpack trooper. 
And uh, yeah. And then on the back, you got the uh, a tank, the Mobat, right? Is it the Mobat one? Is, Is that the, what they called it? I think that's what that was the tank. Hmm. And and you know, you know who the driver was for that? Snake Eyes. No, Steeler. Because he was from Pittsburgh. Oh, he I was. see what they did there. Yeah. Yep. I love their their file cards. I think I think didn't Larry Hammond Hama no, not Larry Hammond Larry Hama write the file cards for mm -hmm. all the GI Joe. I believe he did. Yeah. Either him or Larry Harmon. He's kind of a turd. Not a nice guy. <laughs> you know who Larry Harmon is, don't you? Ah, uh, is he that guy who was in the Osmonds? It's Bozo the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly in the Osmonds. Yes. Yeah. So my favorite, one of my favorite cartoons of all time, GI Joe. Uh, I almost wish they did another lunchbox though, following up with this one because they they did have a lot more creative characters later on. You know, right? Like the early characters all kind of were green. And a lot and of generic. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Like Duke's not even on this thing. Right. But then you got Snake Eyes on the thermos. Oop, I'm gonna try to get that. There we go. I think part of the reason Snake Eyes became so popular was because in the early years of GI Joe, he was really the only distinctive looking guy. And he's on the thermos. He's yes. pretty cool though. I mean, that was a cool character. Yeah. And the fact that he just didn't say anything. Yeah. We're going to do the smell test. Psh, smells like Timber's balls. <laughs> not feeling it. Mm, not liking that one. We're going to put that right back. So It smells like Gee, Timber's balls. I'm excited because I still have bubble wrap here. Bubble, yeah. So this is a, this is a pretty cool lunchbox, though. Very uh, army. Very army green on there. Yeah, yeah. It's a good lunchbox. It is, it is. It's a little aged. Yeah, but, it's uh, a little beat up. But this one's yours. These yes, are both yours. Yes. Yeah. Um, Over here, this is in better shape. I got this one from the comic book store that uh, didn't sell you a uh, Great Space Coaster activity book. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, we're not going to give him a plug then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, this is Transformers. This is no. Was there only one Transformers lunchbox? They didn't put one out in the early yeah, years. Yeah, this came out in 1986. Long post after. movie. Post movie. But How, there was a Transformers. It was it was craziness with the Transformers. You would have thought they would have got a lunchbox out a lot faster. Right. The reason I specify post movie is because the Transformers line really at, at that time there was pre movie and post movie because pre movie was Optimus Prime, and Optimus Prime was arguably the most popular character. But then they killed him off in the movie, so the post-movie merchandise doesn't have Optimus Prime on it. No, no. So it's like it's like doing your G.I. Joe box yeah. with no snake eyes. And you know who the most popular Transformer was after? The it, it was not Hot Rod, I it don't was think. Beachcomber. Beachcomber, that yeah. That's not true. Cosmos. Cosmos, yes. Anyway. Uh, so, so what we got, got on the front here? We yeah. got some ones. I'm, it's just going well, to be tough to even know. We, we got, got Metroplex, Metroplex that, the Autobot City, City Metroplex. And, and isn't that kind of weird that like he's a he is a robot, and then the other cars are riding on top of him. Right, look, and he's probably like, yes, yeah, right on top of me, right, right there. Oh, that's the spot, David Cassidy style. <laughs> yeah. Oh, give it to me. <laughs> All right, I want to know what's going on here. Because if you look on the front, we got Hot Rod. Yeah. But we have Hot Rod driving here as a car. Yeah, and then you got... And he's in robot form next to himself. Somebody screwed up. Mm-hmm. This is like... This is basically like Transformers 2, the movie 2, where they... where they, If you noticed in that second movie, mm -hmm. that there's Transformers that get destroyed early on in the movie. And then later, they're in the movie again with no explanation on, on, on why they're there again, even though they were completely destroyed. Is that a third Hot Rod flying back here? It's possibly a third hot rod. I think there's a third hot rod so on there. Somebody here. discovered it was like, put hot rod on there. All right. Maybe who, the guy who did this only had reference for Who like, are we pushing, hot rod? All right, I'll put him everywhere. What, who else? Is there anybody else on there? Uh, there's this blue car, but I don't know who that is. Is Any that a uh, screen or? Who was the one that could fly? He had wings. That was uh, Jetfire. No, oh, no, car? no. He was a car with wings. <laughs> you think uh, a mask? No, no, no. Um,. It's like Tracker or something, tracks? or Tracer. Or... There was tracks. Tracks was a tracks. I don't think tracks could fly. There was a car that had wings. Who's the guy that's, that's right down here? Who is this? Um, is that Blaster? Who the heck knows? I, I, I don't know. know. Some of these ones are. It's not even like the, so. You don't even have the iconic. Yeah, you know, I'm looking at the back. Car. I don't know who's on the back either. Look at the back it's of this thing. Decepticon City. All right, we got yeah, we got the. It was that um, that was uh, tr tr uh, it was a dinosaur, wasn't it? It was um. 
Tricepticon or something. <laughs> sure, why don't you go with that? <laughs> uh, but yeah, look, I, mean, I, think that's I can't name a single one of those robots. Then, you know what? There are people out there that are huge into the later Transformers, and they, they and they probably wouldn't probably know either. either. They're gonna look and be like, "I know them and all." These are these are, all, these are all considered G one Transformers, but all yeah. on the sides, you got. Yeah, okay, now, now, got, now we get to the sides. These are the Google... Okay, we've got... Insecticons. Insecticons. Uh, that's... Is that... Oh, Kickback? Okay, yeah, I was going to say, yeah. is that traveling? Now, this is... Uh, snarl? Snarl. That might be Snarl. Um, and then... Oh, oh, well, oh the, and then Bombshell on the bottom. Bombshell. Is that, is that, is that Bombshell? Yep. I can't remember if that... And then on the... Uh, on this side, it's uh, the Triceratops. Is that Slag? Um, Slag. One of them was Slag and one of them was Snarl. And one was Sludge. Sludge was oh, the Brachiosaurus. Sludge was the Brachiosaurus yeah, one. Yeah. The Brachiosaurus or whatever he was. And then Swoop was the, the pterodactyl. I, I think that's know. that's Shrapnel, isn't it? it? If it's the Grasshopper, it's Kickback because oh, I had him. I, I think it was I think, Shrapnel. I think, I, think All right. I think that's Kickback. All right. Shrapnel, so shrapnel even, might be on the bottom. Even the characters insecticons. Even the characters that we know we, we're not sure on. But, but really bad at this. But the back and the front. Uh, that's, the, 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 now the, the back has a... Oh yeah, it has a... Decepticon symbol on the front has an Autobot symbol, so it's kind of like when you go in the lunchroom, you're like, doo doo doo, and then it would flip, so like in the cartoon, it's like, doo, 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 doo. yeah. Look <laughs> at that, multiple hot rods. What 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 a hole do you think took that box to lunch and put only put Energon cubes in it? He was like, I'm getting my Energon. I would love to know what happened on this one. <laughs> the art guy, he was like, uh, he was probably just like, I. I don't know. He got a message like, don't put any of the old line. We're promoting the new line. Well, do you got pictures of the new line? No. no. <laughs> do not. Is that Astro? There's like a... No, it's like, a, it's like an airplane. It's an airplane, but it looks like it's turning... Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> I don't know I what's gotta going say, on you know here. what, for... I, I want to say that I'm going to just I'm gonna flat out say this is a disappointing lunchbox because I feel like Transformers deserve something better. Don't you think? This yeah. is like slapped together. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. It's really exciting, though, if you look at it from a distance. It's only when you start paying attention that it gets disappointing, though. You know what? For both of these, both of these are kind of a letdown for, what, for, for, what? For, the, for the properties that they represent. What was the Decepticon City's name? I want to say, I like Triceracon. I want that to be its name, Triceracon. I, I like Nasonex. I'm going with <laughs> Nasonex. Metamucil. Mm. Leave a comment down below. What's the Decepticon City's name? And you will win... A box of dink. Nope. Nope. Sorry. It's not going to be good. <laughs> not going to be good. You thought you were going to win, but you're not. Instead, you're going to get this. Boop. Not even that. You're just going to get a picture of it. You get to look at it. Remember a couple weeks ago when we said boop and a picture of that foot with teeth growing out of it <laughs> showed up? Yeah. Do you think that dude would open his lunchbox and take his sock off and chew his food with his foot? I, think that, I thought there were toenails. That was teeth? <laughs> Those were teeth. Oh, Those were teeth growing out of the dude's foot. That is nasty. Want to see it again? <laughs> Boop! Since we're doing callbacks to old episodes, why don't we, why don't we read a few comments? Yeah, it's um, a good we'll idea. Read some comments. It's a good from, idea. From, from Do you our, think... Wait, wait, wait Dave, fans. Dave, this guy. Boop! Think he has to floss his feet? Do you think he, he brushes feet? Do you think he flosses his feet and then tosses the flosser oh, on the ground? Clean teeth, dirty feet. <laughs> ah, clean, no, clean feet, or, yeah, I don't know. I don't clean know. feet, dirty streets. <laughs> yeah, so we got some comments We from, um, I'm going to read them now, quietly to myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is from our from our Dragon's Lair. One of our more popular. Yeah, yeah the super, the video, the super the video game one. Video game. Right, and, then we, and we have a comment from... Greg's Gamer. Greg from Greg's Gamer. Greg Gamer. Yeah, yeah, Greg. He, Greg he George. Said, I always had Star Wars lunchboxes, but the game ones were legit. And you were absolutely right, Greg. Check out his channel because he's got a good channel. Yeah, he's got a great channel. Like Greg's Game Room, old old video games. Why don't you yeah. put a link down below? Boop. I said boop, but it's actually it's in really, the notes video, below. Yeah. Nothing's going to be on the screen there. And then we we were we were we were we were questioning on when the games were released mm -hmm. and. Um, Sav let us know that Pac-Man was released in 1980. Okay. Because we weren't sure if it was 1979. Uh, Sav's a good couple, dude. Yeah. Sav, Sav's a good dude. He's watching from the from the UK. Oh. Yeah. Top of the morning to ya. <laughs> That's and, and you just caused an international incident. 
<laughs> well, you're already pissed off France. So, All right. Uh, and then we have Movie Hunters letting us know Pac-Man releases in North America in October 1980, Miss Pac-Man 1981. I own both arcade cabinets, Love Dragon. You're mumbling. Come on. Movies. Come on. Show Movie Hunters some just, respect. He's, show he's, Movie Hunters some respect. You know what? We, we get it. All right. It was 1980. We make mistakes sometimes. All right. We're not perfect. We know that this guy's name on the back is definitely Triceratops. Triceracon. Triceracon. So we get some stuff right. But thanks for thanks for leaving a comment. We do appreciate it. That that and uh Oh, I'm sorry, I'm reading it to myself again. Gloop Trekker. Gloop Trekker. You wanna why don't you read Gloop something? Trekker, he's a local dude. Local dude, okay. Yeah. Um Gloop Tre Gloop that Gloop Trekker says Pac-Man is the honey badger of video games. Yeah, he is. Because he don't take any of that S. Yeah. Because I think it's, uh, he actually put a timestamp. I think it is the moment when I said, he's that ghost is in blue and he's going to eat it anyway. Yeah. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. <laughs> That's right. Max Volumes YouTube. Oh, speaking of internet things, because you brought up honey badger. You know, I think you know, this is going to be weeks after it, but a sad RIP to Grumpy Cat. I just hope he finally found peace. Hopefully somewhere in hell he is not so grumpy. Uh, Max That's where cats go. Max Volumes. <laughs> Max Volumes YouTube channel writes, I want to see a Lunchbox Bunch Lunchbox. Ooh. Who will be on it? Probably a picture of that guy's gnarly feet. <laughs> <laughs> if we get this artist to do it, I can tell you who won't be on it. You and me. <laughs> no, we will be on it just multiple times. <laughs> on one I'll side. I'll be standing next on to On one side. On the other side, people will be like, who are these dudes? Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway. Probably be like David Cassidy sticking his wiener through his uh, Brent Oberlin writes, seven dislikes. How sad their life is because apparently seven people. I think we got more. Than oh, that. and now it's down. To, it's up to nine. Oh, nine people oh, dislike that video. I think we can get that number higher, guys. <laughs> and last but not least, Mister Cinema Sickness writes the I don't first. Know. Who's that? He's some dude. Um, He's some dude. He writes uh, the first Dragon's Lair was released on DVD, and I do have it. However, I do not own Dragon's Lair two yet. Oh, so you got one. I got one. He up doesn't. On the Cinema Sickness. He, he, vast do, collection. Do you want to take a moment to mock him? Because you have something he doesn't? Nah. <laughs> All right, that's it I'll for... leave that to Annabelle. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's all we got. That's all we got for lunchboxes. In the hizzy from mm -hmm. the 1980s Hasbro collection. You know this was going to be an exciting one. But we dissed these lunchboxes because, you know... Yeah, when you really think about it, when you really break this down, these 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 deserved better. Yeah, these properties deserved. I but, wanted shipwreck and snake eyes and timber dancing when they dressed up in like the rock group. Remember that one? And they mm -hmm. had, like escape and they were like pretending to be like in a band, and like even timber was dancing. Can you put a picture of that up? Put a picture of timber dancing. Boop. I hope we found one. Yeah, it's on because that's awkward if I didn't. Yeah. Uh. Next time we do Hasbro lunchboxes, it'll be much better, though. It'll be the Inhumanoids and the Centaurians. The Cabbage Patch Kids. That's, and that's Coleco. I know. I was just randomly throwing out. Oh, it doesn't matter at this point. Ah. Yeah. Keep on eating those ding-dongs. Make sure you gently tap the subscribe button down below. You can buy shirts. Patreon, apparel something get yeah patreon via patreon patreon yeah get your name in the credits join us on patreon get your name in the credits yeah and if you get, want to send get, snack cakes to joe i don't know he'll maybe he'll send a message maybe he'll yeah. let you know where to send snack cakes to we snack do cakes is this even recording oh man no it's recording I'm yeah <laughs> yeah if you have a chain link fence you would like to feed us hot dogs through let's know sure we'll, we'll show up at lunchtime yeah. why not mm -hmm. all right until next time Keep on eating Keep those eating dogs. dogs. Keep wearing those pajamas with the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas with the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas.
Keep wearing those pajamas. I know we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. I know the song is done.